Well, hello there. I'm Cherie, I have ADHD, and today we're gonna play The Sims 4 Seasons Legacy Challenge, which was created by Genova Sims. And I'm using the graphics created by Kimba Sprite. I will link both of those below for you to look at. And so the whole basis is it's a four generation Sims Legacy Challenge that each generation focuses on a specific season. So the first uh, generation will be spring generation. And I have created a little sim already for this. I will show you what we got going. Okay, so for the first generation, the spring generation, it says that your aspiration should be either country caretaker, and then it says and or serial romantic. So I'm not sure, I'm gonna start off with the country caretaker, and if I decide that I wanna do serial romantic first and then switch over to country caretaker, I might change it later. And then this legacy challenge is pretty cool because you can choose between five traits. You can choose three of them, so there's a little bit more flexibility there. So I chose the romantic, neat, and perfectionist trait. The other options are high maintenance and cheerful, but I figured since the growing together pack has the discovery trait feature, like every single sim I have ever always ends up with the cheerful trait. So I figured we'll leave that one out. We'll keep these three and we're just gonna go with that and I will probably end up with the cheerful trait anyway. And then for colors, this uh, challenge is also pretty cool because instead of just like one color, it still gives you a theme, but it gives you two color options. So green and pink are the colors for this generation. And so I have them there and all of her outfits are kind of along those theme. Of course, she wants to be like a country caretaker. She's gonna live in Henford on Bagley. So like nature enthusiast, pet enthusiast, those are kind of her vibe. She loves flirtation, discussing hobbies. She's gonna be like a hobby homesteader, so I figured she's gonna like to talk about it. And then to just get us started, I have the gardening skill and the knitting skill, because I thought that would be kind of fun to explore. So I'll go through the rest of the rules here in a minute. I'll show you my sim first. This is Lily Weatherby. I have a little headscarf. All of this is CC because I'm ADHD and I get bored. So I'm constantly adding things to the game, but that's a conversation for another time. So these are her two everyday outfits. I have a little cute filler outfit for like formal. These are her other outfits. Cute little flower print for her like nightgown. These adorable pants from high school years for her party. Another CC. I have two outfits because I could not choose for her hot weather. I have that one and then I have this one. And then her warm weather outfit. So this is our sim. She is looking ready to go. She's got some Snow White vibes, I think. And we're going to start off. A lot of the goals and rules for this challenge have to do with living in or being in and around Henford on Bagley, so I figured we would start there. It definitely does have some spring vibes. Henford on Bagley, this is like my favorite world in the entire game. I just love it so much. So the rules and goals for this challenge are date around before finding your soulmate and settling down, meet your soulmate at a park, always keep your home in pristine condition, raise chickens and or a cow slash llama, befriend a rabbit, and or a flock of birds, buy groceries from market stalls in Henford on Bagley, win a competition at Fenchwick Fair, frequently have picnics in the park, discover Sylvan Glade and or Forgotten Grotto, gain the hungry for love lifestyle, always have the simple living lot challenge, celebrate spring festival, go all out with decorations and festivities, complete the insect and or the decorative eggs collection, reach the top of any outdoor based career, and max two skills, fishing, herbalism, or flower arranging. So I think I'm gonna pick this one up here. All right, so we are going to bulldoze this lot, have her start with zero and get on our way. Bulldoze, yes please. We're gonna make our girl suffer, okay? Because Sims is only fun as long as our Sims are suffering. Who's with me? Bye bye, all of our lovely money. 
how much do we want to torment ourselves? Do we want to have to do both aspirations? Serial romantic, you have to have a boyfriend or girlfriend go on two dates, achieve level four charisma skill, have had three first kisses, achieve level six charisma skill, have a strong romantic relationship with three sims at once, kiss 10 sims, earn gold on three dates, have had eight boyfriends or girlfriends. And usually that's like not my style at all, but I do have to gain the hungry for love lifestyle for this one. And I don't know if I've ever gained that one before because I really just do not enjoy dating around. I like to just pick a person and just stay with them. So I think I'm gonna start with the serial romantic aspiration and try to play through that and then we can move on to the country caretaker one later on in life once our girl has settled down a little bit we shall see if we can actually get through all of these goals on normal lifespan it's quite extensive but i do get bored pretty easily so it does uh keep that from happening but we're gonna just start off with some fishing i'm just gonna let her fish for a while because i don't really have anything else to do I guess I could go meet someone, but we need some money so we can actually sleep at some point. Oh, also we need to join the career. This area is too difficult for her. Oh no. It has to be, it doesn't have to be the gardener career. It has to be any, um, let's see what it says. Reach the top of any outdoor based career. But I feel like with the country caretaker aspiration, simple living, all of that stuff, the gardener career makes sense for her. Purchase garden seeds. Ha! We have to have money to do that, which we do not have any. So let's see if we can go find some, dig up some, what is this? It's a fox. Hello, little fox. Let's dig some stuff up. See, we could have little picnics down here. It says you have to have picnics in the park frequently, but like, it's next to our lot. I kind of feel like it's a park anyway, so maybe we will do that at some point. Of course, that is not in season there's another fishing hole down here we could try fishing down here once you dig that up you can go fishing oh of course the welcome wagon is coming now when we're all the way down the hill and then they're gonna be all angry at us and they're gonna hate us okay run oh my goodness you're gonna walk the entire way really why are you walking why are you walking the whole way do you know how far this is and we're walking and we're walking <laughs> And we're walking for the rest of the end. The welcome wagon has left and now our neighbors hate us. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, well, our neighbors hate us. We can't fish next to our house and there's not really any collectibles here. So I think we're gonna just travel somewhere. Maybe we can meet up with our first uh, victim. <laughs> the first person that we're gonna romance and just see how it goes. We go to Willow Creek. There might be some stuff over here. Let's go to the library. See what kind of trouble we can get into. Okay, we're here at the library. I like to pause my game, honestly, when I'm doing things. I know a lot of people just like let it play, but I have to pause it get my stuff queued up and then I can let it play. A lot of times I find that I end up having like a lot of uh, glitches and the like autonomy of the Sims, both like my Sim and the Sims around me end up interfering with what I was asking them to do. And it just gets really frustrating really quickly. So I find that if I pause it, queue stuff up and then I can play it, I tend to have an easier time of my sims actually doing what I told them to do. Let's see, I don't see any um, eligible bachelors out here, but come down and fish. Another fun thing about uh, this lot in particular is that, I don't know if you've ever realized this before or not, but the library specifically in Willow Creek has like a ton more books than any other library and if you replace this lot on your save the extra books will go away and you'll be back to only having like the basic what is it six books or something that it comes with but the base game willow creek library has a bunch of like skill books in it too that um, can be kind of helpful 
when you're first starting out and you're trying to get some skills leveled up. All right, we'll just fish and see if we can get her skill leveled up a little bit. Oh my goodness, all I can catch, all I can find and dig up and everything else today is stinking upgrade parts. Give me a fish. Give me a fish. Give me a fish. I see them out there. They're flopping around. Eat my line. Eat my little hook and come here. No fish for me today. This is a sign. A sign that we should not be pursuing the fishing skill and instead be pursuing the flower arranging and the herbalism, maybe. We'll see. Fishing, we could do it right next to our house because we have a fishing spot. As soon as she's skilled enough to be able to do that. 30. We have a whole hundred dollars. We have been wandering around trying to find money all day long. It is 5.30 p.m. We have a hundred dollars. That's okay. She'll start working. Not tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay. She'll start working on Tuesday. <laughs> and maybe we can make something at that point. She's kind of cute. How about you come introduce yourself to her? Wait, who's this over here? Julia Wright. I'm guessing she's from the university world. All these people are adults. She's a young adult. Let's see. Okay, so we have a couple options. I think we should introduce ourselves to both and just see how it goes. If she ever finishes peeing. Did we? We didn't even get our fruit cake because we took forever to get back to the welcome wagon and they left. Okay, introduce yourself. Hello. Just gonna stare lovingly into each other's eyes, doing absolutely nothing. All right, let's try this again. Can we get a little bit of friendship going with Julia here? What's up? Will you be my friend, Julia? Hello. Did she just tell a bad joke? Yes, she just told a bad joke. Sorry. Uh, okay. This is going really badly. <laughs> Let's go introduce ourselves to this person just so we know somebody. Okay, stop talking to her before you make it worse. Stop talking to her. Leave her alone. Leave Julia alone. Bye. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Okay, and now, we're, now that you know her, we're going to leave before you make it worse. Because... The way things are going, you are going to make it worse if you continue talking. Alright, so we're gonna go back home and try to get a couple of things set up with our measly, like, $200. Well, hey, at least we're living on a green lot. We've got something going for us. Okay, let's start. Let's just start with the simple living. Great soil for gardening's sake. Homey is always one that I like to just put on. It's just, I don't know, makes life easier when you're at, ha at your home and you have the homey trait. And I think we're going to trade it to a tiny home residential for now and just do like the foundation trick. Um, just to give us a little bit of help here. Okay, so we have a roof with no walls because we don't have any money for walls. And I'm just going to do like a thatched roof because like, why not? Why not make it as cute as we can get it when we don't have walls or anything to go off of? Let's just pretend like this is fine, okay? This is what we do. This is how it goes when you're starting a brand new rags to riches challenge, okay? You have no money and I'm gonna use this little uh, CC wall paint. I think there's a cooler that I can get like um packs. It's from Outdoor Retreat. It's a little cooler that you can get a snack out of. It's $145. If I get this, will I have enough money for a bed? Let me just put it here. And then we'll see if we can afford maybe a sleeping bag. You can afford a bush and a dog bed. Hmm. Okay. Let's have her grab some food. If we can. Yes, we can. Okay, cool. So we'll let her grab some granola. Maybe we can go see if we can find some orageables or something. 
to try to give us enough money to at least buy a sleeping bag so she doesn't have to like sleep on a bench tonight or something. Run, girl, run. It's 10 o'clock. You need sleep. Let's see what she got. An eggplant frog. 10 smackaroons. Come out here to start her a new life and she's got nothing. No family. No friends. The only person she's tried to talk to has completely and wholly rejected her. A time capsule. Wow. 75. That might be enough. 175. Yes, we can afford a sleeping bag. This one. Yeah, that one's fine. That one's cute. Yeah, come over here and go to sleep. Okay. Off to bed. I heard there was someone famous over at the lounge. Want to go check it out? Sure, why not? We've got nothing better to do. There's a celebrity making a rare appearance at the lounge, so now's the time to put your best foot forward, or at least out of your mouth. Hi there, how are you doing? Let's cloud gaze with her, that usually helps a lot with that. She's trying to make some friends out here. I don't think she can afford any food. And I don't feel like she should, even if she can. Oh, she can grab chips, that's right. Cool. We'll take care of a few of our needs this way. Just spending this fine morning out on the town with our girl. Look at her wafting the stench up from her while she's looking at these clouds. Okay, you need to go pee before you wet yourself. And she can grab some chips. Yeah, I don't understand why there's trash. It's making her uncomfortable. I get it. It would make me uncomfortable too. You know what else we can do while we're here? We can get rid of this out of our inventory. Talk about dreams. Tell a couple jokes. And maybe since we're in a good mood, we can flirt and see how it goes. Oh, that went badly. What did you say? Oh, she's leaving. All right, well, let's be realistic about this. We should not be talking to people right now. We need to go try to set ourselves up a little bit. We have some gardening things to take care of. We've got problems of our own. You know what we can do? There's somewhere back here that we can go and if we fish we can catch cow plants and violins and stuff yeah this spot right here if you fish in this little hole then you can catch some really cool stuff and some really expensive stuff which we need right now all right we'll see if she can catch anything out here see <laughs> we just caught a 400 dollar violin Boom! Problem solved. We have some strawberries, which is great. She's just out here enjoying the beautiful nature. Nice warm spring day. It's her favorite time of year, obviously. You know what else we need to do while she's doing that? We're supposed to celebrate spring festival? And we're supposed to complete the decorative eggs collection? So, we need to make a holiday kind of Easter situation. We're gonna do the egg hunt so that we can actually get that collection going. I really stink at completing collections, honestly. I have a hard time caring enough to <laughs> do them, so a lot of times in challenges I end up skipping them, but we will try to complete the egg collection. I'm not even gonna- I'm not even gonna touch the insect collection because that's a whole nother animal and I don't- I, no thank you. Uh, but we can try the egg collection. That one's kind of fun. So, uh, the flower bunny and cleaning because like spring cleaning vibes, you know. Uh, decorate because she's going to go all out. We'll do give flowers because that feels very spring. And then we have that. That'll be coming up in a couple days now. <laughs> While it's spring. I'll let her fish for a little bit longer and then we'll go home and plant our strawberries. We have almost $600, which is awesome. Second day has gone way better than the first day. We have 
gotten some relationship with one of our friends. We've made some money. We fished out a violin out of this little pond. Let's see if she can catch one more thing and then we will go back home. All right, so total we made $68 off the last three fish because she's actually getting leveled up on her skill, which puts us at $663. We might be able to afford like a toilet or something. She needs to be in a good mood for her work tomorrow. So that is super helpful. Cool, we made it back home. Okay, let's get our strawberries planted. She can water her plants and go to bed. I think I will have her text. Oh, Julia died? Wow. Well, that was clearly not meant to be. We'll just like send a text, chat with her for a bit for our social need because our social's getting a bit low. I like to keep my Sims happy. Yes, they got to struggle, but they can be happy doing it. Let's see if we can get something. <laughs> maybe a shower, maybe a toilet. Let's just do this one. And then tomorrow she'll have some money and we can upgrade her house a little bit after she goes to work. But for now, that gives us the essentials. I think I'll have her go to bed so she's ready for the morning, ready for her work. Okay. There's a bunny. Come talk to the bunny. Fluffy. Come talk to Fluffy. Are you thinking about Easter? This is why we're friends. Can we pet Fluffy? Wow, we're hitting it off. Whoa. Whoa, don't kill us, please. No, he says do not touch me. You can talk, but do not ch touch me. No. Oh, it's going badly. It was going so well for a minute there. Have fun at your first day of work. Come home with some money. Look at that. They've already grown. So hopefully, maybe tomorrow morning, we'll have some strawberries. Okay, we're back from work. We made a grand total of nothing. $140. She made $140. And she cannot level up until she gets gardening level two. Okay, so I think for this evening, we're gonna actually do this little event thing. We're gonna go travel somewhere, meet a Sam, try to get flirty. She's already flirty, so it should be pretty easy. Just try to round out our lives a little bit. Yeah, we can meet Sarah. I love Sarah, she's great. So, so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to add some sims into this game but for now we're just gonna enjoy a little night on the town just hang out with our neighbors she's just trying to get to know the town that she's living in trying to settle in she's got her job set up she's got like the essentials at home she needs to have friends with the people like henford on bagley is all about the community and she loves that about henford on bagley okay that's why she's here oh well, we could talk to cecilia can we do a flirty introduction to Cecilia? Because I would be fine with dating Cecilia to begin with. Oh, it worked. She's in a flirty mood. Cecilia is single. We're coming for you, Cecilia. Ask about hobbies and skills. She says, have you met the locals in Hanford on Bagley? It's a really close-knit community. Yes, yes it is, Cecilia. That's why we're here. Do some small talk, get to know her. I like to get to know. Usually get to know and deep conversation are the two interactions that give you like the the traits of the sim you're talking to. So I like to do those. Yeah, she's an animal enthusiast. Oh, we're gonna get along great then. I love animal enthusiasts. Yeah, see that? We have good compatibility. She's non-committal. Perfect, perfect. We're not gonna stay with you. I just need to get started on this aspiration. Why are you guys arguing over here? Do you have beef? Is there drama that I should know about? Cecilia, spill the beans. Here, let's gossip and see what we can say. Like, why are you having beef with Thomas? Why are you having arguments in the bar with him? We have a romance bar. Write it down. This is a momentous occasion. We have a romance bar with Cecilia Kang. That feels fitting. We live in Hinford on Bagley. She is the only single person, I believe, in this entire world. That's what we did wrong. See, we left our home 
town. We tried to like go off and be adventurous and meet people elsewhere, but we should have started closer to home. Look at that. We have a relationship going on with Cecilia. We're hitting it off great. I'm gonna blow a little kiss, flirt some. Let's ask her on a date and just stay here and then we can actually get started on this serial romantic trait. Okay, we're gonna go on a date with Cecilia. We're gonna just stay where we're at, but we're gonna make it into a little cheeky date. Maybe we can come over here, sit together. Yeah, come sit on the couch together. And then let's flirt. We can do our first kiss. Our first kiss ever with Cecilia. We're out here being adventurous. about you embrace her hold hands oh okay and come up here and go to the bathroom real quick i guess yeah we can ask to be girlfriend so we'll go to pee and then we'll do that okay cecilia i have an important question to ask you i just moved here like i'm feeling lonely i need some companionship will you be my girlfriend and she said yes oh yeah we are cruising now. Oh, she's ambitious. Yeah, we got a lot in common. We have been very successful this evening. We have ourselves a girlfriend. They're just talking or chatting. And I think I'm gonna go in this early. We've gold already. All right, now we need to go home. We had a good time. Thank you, Cecilia. We'll talk to you later. We'll probably be breaking up with you soon after we go on another date. Nice! We completed that um, discovery quest and got flirty and happy potions as a reward. Might be able to use those at some point if we're needing to feel extra flirty. Well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. We have the start of like the essentials for our home. We've got a little garden. We've got a romance bar with Cecilia. We got started on our aspiration. We are getting there. All right, well, I will end it there and we will convene back soon for episode two where we try to get Lily um, a real house and um, work through her goals. And again, if you're interested in trying this challenge yourself or want to take a look at the rules, I will link them down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This was a blast and you have an awesome day.